One of the problems with moving into a new house is that sometimes it's even hard to find a hammer. All right, and here we go for the installation portion of this. Um, now, please do excuse that we've got this funky colored wall thing going on here. There was some shelving that was up behind there when we bought the house. And we are gonna eventually paint this room, but I really wanna get this thing in before we ever even worry about the painting and everything else. Something that we have that's a little bit unique in this space is our dryer is over here, our washer is over here, but the connections in the back are swapped from that. Well, why do we do that? Well, that's because of the door configuration. You can swap the door on one of these dryers, but you can't swap the door swing on the washer. We're stuck with what we were, and we didn't want to block ourselves out. So the hose connections are over here for the washer, and everything for the dryer uh, is on the other side. So uh, from there, I'm going to go ahead and install this thing, and uh, we'll uh, get it done. Thanks. Now the installation guide. Now the installation guide does actually have a full scale uh, drawing of the device on it. It'll let us be able to level it up. We'll know where we need to do our anchors and everything else. But I am a little bit old school if I want to see how things actually look, not just the drawing. So I'm going to hang this up onto the wall, kind of manually. Look at how everything aligns. Then we're going to go ahead and put the drawing in place and go from there. All right, now something that I'm doing with this is I'm intentionally going to go ahead and put it a little bit high because Stephanie wants me to build a little bit of a shelf that goes across all of the top of this. And I want to make sure that I don't end up having to move this up later. I want it to be a little bit above it before we get going. So that's why the height that I'm going to go with. Now I'm going to go back behind here. I'm going to shut everything off, make the disconnections that I need to, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get it hung up. And when I disconnect this, I go a little bit slowly just to make sure, and then I keep it up close and over the drain so that any water that wants to come back out of my washer line here is gonna go straight into the drain instead of on my floor, down the drywall, etc. I know we're good there at that point. Now I wanna go ahead and set this up. Forgot the painter's tape. Now what I've always found advantageous when you're going to hang up something like this and you need to level it is you find the edge that you're wanting to reference and I actually put a little bit of a nail mark in there of where I want to reference this and I only want to put a little bit of tape right at the corner a little bit loosely. Why do I want to do that? Because I want it to be able to swing like this when I put the level on it. We're going to go ahead and put a little piece of tape right here and then let's take the level to it and we're level. Now from there I can pinch it and make sure that everything stays and frankly this is just so that we can get three holes in the right spot but you can never be too careful about it we're going to go ahead and stretch this thing down to make sure that we're in the right spot here and then double check level and we are good all right, now it is time to just do the installation. Something that I've always, always tried to follow through with is using a really good anchor. But one thing to notice with these uh, is that they will self-drill their hole. Uh, they actually, this type of anchor does a really good job of it. But when you start going, it's possible for it to walk off of its center a little bit. Uh, there's a few different ways to deal with that. One of them is just to hammer it in. Uh, once you get it hammered into right there and then you start screwing it in, you know that it's going to stay straight. Um, another way to do it 
is to run the screw in in the spot that you want and then follow it up you know, pull it back out and follow it up with the anchor from there so we're gonna go ahead and do this uh, the hammer way but by doing it this way I know for dead certain that I am right on these center points and that everything's gonna line up right all right so now the way that this mounting bracket works. The mounting bracket goes on the wall with the little tab pieces out and it lines up to there. So all we've got to do is anchor in our three points on the wall and then this can easily be removed if it needs to later for any maintenance or if I screwed up the height and we have to relocate it because of uh, the shelf that Stephanie wants me to build. All right, I know everything's gonna line up now so let's pull down the, bra uh, the bracket alignment tool. And there's some good video evidence of me being a dummy and uh, putting the bracket up backwards so Stephanie will love that in video editing. All right, now I want to make my life a little bit easier, so let's get everything I don't need out of my way and get out everything that I do need. Now, I've got really high quality stainless steel hoses already, uh, and I don't want to have to undo everything on the, uh, the washer to be able to do this. So, I'm only going to use one of these that's supplied and keep my other really good st uh, stainless steel braided hose on my washer. On the bottom it's marked in and out so I'm going to move my outline that goes to the washer here and then I'll put on my inline there. When you snug up on any fittings like this you don't have to go super super tight we just want to go slightly beyond the finger tight so that it compresses the rubber washer that's in there at which point you are done if you try and crank down you're going to end up destroying the neck that it's on the device inside something is not going to work out well for you all right now let's get power on this thing There it is, we put water in.